This video will show you how to calculate the volume of composite shapes. Composite shapes are shapes that are made up of two or more individual shapes. I've got videos explaining how to calculate the area and the perimeter of composite shapes, but this video will show you the volume of a composite shape. This is the shape that I'll be using. I can see that the entire shape is 12 centimeters high and it has a base with measurements of six centimeters and five centimeters. I can see here, just looking at the shape, it looks like it can be divided into two shapes. I can see a rectangular prism, which I'll shade here in blue, and I can also see a triangular prism up the top, which is shaded in purple. If I draw this out, I have my rectangular prism and I have my triangular prism. I can see that my rectangular prism has measurements of five centimeters by six centimeters and it is eight centimeters tall. For my triangular prism, I can see that its base is six centimeters and its perpendicular height, which is here, is four centimeters because I have 12 centimeters for the entire shape and eight centimeters for the height of that rectangular prism. So I'm gonna go height is four centimeters and I know that going this way, which I'm gonna call that height with a capital H is five centimeters. The first calculation that I'm going to make is the volume of the rectangular prism. The formula to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism is volume equals length times width times height. So I'm going to say that my length is five centimeters, my width is six centimeters, and my height is eight centimeters. Five times six is 30 times eight, three times eight is 24, and times that by 10 gives me 240. I'm dealing with centimeters and I'm dealing with volume, so that measurement is cubed. The second calculation that I'll be working out is the volume of the triangular prism. The formula to calculate the volume of a triangular prism is V equals base times height divided by two times the height of the prism. So I know that my base length is six centimeters and that the perpendicular height is four centimeters. So I'm going to be times in that, then dividing it by two, but I also have to be sure that I'm multiplying that section by the height of the prism, which is five. So six times four is 24 divided by two. 24 divided by two is 12 times five. And that gives me 60, I'm dealing in centimeters and it's volume. So I know that that unit is cubed. I also, however, know that I'm not finished in my calculations. I need to find out the volume of this entire shape. So that is the measurement of the rectangular prism plus the measurement of the triangular prism. Now I know that my triangular prism was 60 centimeters cubed, but I'll have to scroll back up to see 240 centimeters cubed. So my rectangular prism, 240 centimeters cubed, and scroll down and I'll say the volume of the whole shape is the volume of my rectangular prism plus the volume of my triangular prism. And I know volume one equals 240 centimeters cubed, volume two equals 60 centimeters cubed, which equals 240 plus 60, giving me a total of 300 centimeters cubed for that composite shape. 